106 historical events we got completely wrong. Shocking truths revealed. History is often written by the victors, or sometimes it's just plain misunderstood. From exaggerated legends to misinterpreted truths, today we'll unravel 106 historical events we got completely wrong. Get ready to have your mind blown as we dive into the shocking reality behind these fascinating tales. 1. Genghis Khan's Brutality – Exaggerated for Fear We've all heard the tales of Genghis Khan, ruthless, bloodthirsty, and destructive. But what if I told you that much of his brutality was… propaganda? Historians now suggest that his enemies spread exaggerated rumors to intimidate others. Yes, he waged war, but he also established trade routes, protected religious freedom, and created the Mongol Empire's first postal system. Instead of chaos, Genghis Khan brought a unique form of order across his vast territories. 2. Ninjas with superpowers? Not exactly. Pop culture loves to depict ninjas as shadowy figures with superhuman powers, disappearing in puffs of smoke and scaling walls like Spider-Man. But the truth? Ninjas were mostly skilled spies and scouts. They relied on cunning and stealth, not magic. Those smoke bombs? Likely just clever distractions. Their real weapon? Information, not flashy fight moves. The three, the legend of the samurai's ritual seppuku. The romanticized notion of samurai committing seppuku, ritual suicide, after every defeat is overblown. While it was a real practice, it wasn't as common as movies suggest. Many samurai who lost battles went on to serve other lords or even become wandering warriors, known as ronin. The idea of widespread ritual suicide? Another myth created to dramatize samurai culture. The four, the curse of the Koh-i-Noor diamond. They say the Koh-i-Noor diamond is cursed, bringing misfortune to anyone who possesses it. But what's the truth? The so-called curse was actually a 19th century British invention to discourage other rulers from wanting it back. The diamond's history is indeed bloody, with kingdoms rising and falling over it, but a curse? Probably just clever colonial PR. Number five, the burning of the library of Nalanda. It's said the great library of Nalanda in India burned for months when invaders set it ablaze. While this tale is partly true, modern historians believe the library's decline was a gradual process. The invaders may have dealt a fatal blow, but the institution had already been weakening due to changing political and cultural tides. Number six, Zheng He's Forgotten Voyages. Zheng He, the Chinese admiral who commanded the largest fleets the world had ever seen, is often overlooked in history books. His voyages spanned Asia and Africa long before European explorers set sail. Why was he forgotten? After his death, the Ming Dynasty turned inward, destroying records of his expeditions to prioritize isolationism over exploration. 7. The Indus Valley Script – Still a Mystery The Indus Valley Civilization was one of the most advanced of its time, but its script remains undeciphered. For years, people claimed to understand it, yet no definitive translation exists. Could it be a language we've never encountered? Or was it something else entirely, like a symbolic system used for trade? The mystery continues. 8. The Riddle of the Terracotta Army Built to guard Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife, the Terracotta Army isn't just a symbol of power, it's also a riddle. How were these statues mass-produced with such precision 2,000 years ago? New research suggests an early form of assembly line production. Talk about ancient innovation. 9. The Myth of the Shang Dynasty's Invention For centuries, the Shang Dynasty was thought to be a mythical invention of ancient Chinese storytellers, until archaeologists uncovered their bronze artifacts in the 20th century. Turns out, they weren't a myth after all. Sometimes, history's greatest tales are buried, literally. 10. The Mongol Horde as uncivilized raiders. The Mongols have long been stereotyped as barbaric raiders, but in reality they were skilled administrators. They encouraged cultural exchange, promoted education, and connected the East and West through the Silk Road. Not just warriors, but world builders. 11. The Lost Tribes of Israel in Afghanistan. Could the 10 Lost Tribes of Israel really have ended up in Afghanistan? It's a popular theory based on similarities in customs and traditions between Pashtun tribes and ancient Israelites. But most historians see this as a fascinating coincidence rather than solid proof. Modern DNA studies have yet to confirm any direct link, but the idea keeps sparking debates and inspiring researchers. 12. Sultans with immense harems, fact or fiction? 
The Ottoman sultans are infamous for their harems, rooms packed with hundreds of concubines. But reality is less dramatic. While harems did exist, they were more like political hubs where alliances were formed and power dynamics were negotiated. The sultan wasn't spending his days surrounded by countless women, but was instead often consumed by matters of governance and war. Hollywood might disagree, but harems weren't all that steamy. 13. The Mythical Chinese Phoenix Did you know the legendary Chinese phoenix isn't a bird at all? Known as the Feng Wang, it's actually a blend of many animals, like the head of a golden pheasant, the body of a dragon, and the tail of a peacock. It represents harmony and balance, not just a firebird rising from the ashes. So next time you see a phoenix, remember, it's much more symbolic than fiery. 14. The idea of a monolithic Islam in ancient Middle East. Many think Islam in its early years was a single, united entity. But history paints a different picture. The Islamic world was incredibly diverse with various interpretations of faith, law, and culture coexisting. From the Umayyads to the Abbasids and regional leaders, Islam's history is one of complexity, debate, and evolution, far from a monolithic narrative. 15. Empress Dowager Cixi's Supposed Modernization Rejection Empress Dowager Cixi of China is often blamed for halting modernization, but that's not the whole story. While she was cautious about reforms, she also implemented significant changes, like modernizing the military and investing in railways and telegraphs. Her image as a stubborn reactionary, largely shaped by Western critics who misunderstood or oversimplified her policies. 16. Shambhala, the mystical kingdom of Tibet. Shambhala, a hidden paradise, a utopia, or a spiritual realm. According to Tibetan Buddhist texts, it's all of these. But is it real? Most historians believe it's metaphorical, symbolizing enlightenment rather than a physical place. That hasn't stopped adventurers and spiritual seekers from searching for it, turning the myth into a timeless quest. Number 17. The Immortal Sages of the Himalayas Legends tell of sages living in the Himalayas who've achieved immortality. While no scientific evidence supports this, the myth is rooted in ancient beliefs about yogic powers and spiritual transcendence. These stories inspire millions to seek higher knowledge, even if immortality remains an elusive dream. Number 18. The Phantom Yeti, Reality or Folklore The Yeti, also called the Abominable Snowman, is a staple of Himalayan folklore. But is there any truth behind the sightings? Modern researchers suggest that the Yeti might be misidentified bears or snow leopards. DNA tests on supposed Yeti remains have revealed animal origins, but the legend lives on proving how powerful a good mystery can be. 19. The myth of samurai always fighting with honor. Samurai are often depicted as paragons of honor, always fighting fair and following strict codes of conduct. But history tells us otherwise. Many samurai use deception, ambushes, and even betrayals to achieve victory. The romanticized version of the samurai was a later creation, idealized during times of peace to inspire loyalty and discipline. 20. Mysterious Jinn, Encounters in the Middle East Jinn, supernatural beings mentioned in Islamic texts, have long been part of Middle Eastern folklore. Are they real? Many believe they're metaphors for the unknown or unexplainable. Others see them as cultural symbols reflecting fears, dreams, and mysteries. Whether you believe in their existence or not, Jinn stories continue to captivate and mystify audiences worldwide. 21. The Great Zimbabwe Myth for years, European colonists claimed the Great Zimbabwe ruins were built by outsiders, refusing to believe they were the work of local African civilizations. The truth? These incredible stone structures, built between the 11th and 15th centuries, were constructed by the Shona people. Their craftsmanship and trade networks were far ahead of their time, proving Africa's rich and independent historical legacy. 22. The Curse of King Tutankhamun's Tomb the Curse of King Tutankhamun's Tomb is a classic tale of supernatural revenge. But here's the twist. The so-called curse was a media creation. Most of those who opened the tomb lived long, healthy lives. The deaths attributed to the curse were either natural or coincidental. The real danger wasn't a curse, but ancient mold spores that could cause respiratory issues. 23. The Lost Civilization of the Kalahari in the 19th century, explorers claimed there was a lost civilization buried in the Kalahari Desert. 
but extensive searches have found no evidence of grand cities or temples. Instead, the lost civilization might be a misunderstanding of ancient sand rock art or natural formations. The desert, though mysterious, isn't hiding Atlantis. 24. The pyramids built by slaves? Think again. Movies and textbooks often depict the pyramids being built by slaves, but this myth has been debunked. Archaeological evidence reveals that skilled laborers, well-fed and respected, built these incredible structures. These workers lived in nearby villages and were even buried with honors. The pyramids weren't just monuments, they were community projects showcasing ancient Egyptian engineering. 25. The Myth of the White Pharaohs of Nubia Did you know that ancient Nubia, south of Egypt, had its own line of powerful black pharaohs? Colonial historians downplayed their role, falsely portraying them as secondary to Egypt. In reality, the Nubian kingdom of Kush rivaled Egypt in power and even ruled over it during the 25th dynasty. These black pharaohs were a testament to Africa's rich cultural and political influence. 26. Cannibalism in Central Africa, a colonial lie. Stories of rampant cannibalism in Central Africa were largely colonial fabrications used to dehumanize indigenous people and justify European intervention. While ritual practices might have existed in rare cases, these tales were grossly exaggerated or completely false, feeding stereotypes and justifying exploitation. 27. The Empty Sahara Desert Myth The Sahara is often depicted as an endless, empty wasteland, but in ancient times, it was a hub of trade and culture. Caravans carried gold, salt, and knowledge across the desert, connecting civilizations from North Africa to the Mediterranean. Even today, archaeological discoveries reveal ancient lakes and settlements that thrived in this desert millennia ago. 28. The Vanishing Sand People of Southern Africa The Sand People, also known as Bushmen, are often portrayed as a vanishing culture, but this narrative ignores their resilience. Despite centuries of displacement, the Sand have preserved their traditions and continue to advocate for their land rights. They haven't disappeared, they're adapting and thriving. 29. Queen Cleopatra wasn't just Greek. Cleopatra is often depicted as purely Greek because of her Macedonian ancestry, but she was also deeply Egyptian, embracing local customs, speaking the language, and presenting herself as a reincarnation of the goddess Isis. Cleopatra was a brilliant strategist who blended cultures to strengthen her rule, not just a Greek queen with an Egyptian crown. 30. The Ethiopian Ark of the Covenant. Fact or fiction? Ethiopia claims to house the Ark of the Covenant, the sacred chest containing the Ten Commandments. According to local tradition, it's kept in a small chapel in Aksum, guarded by a single monk who's sworn never to leave. But is it really there? No one's allowed to see it, leaving historians divided. Whether fact or legend, this mystery adds to Ethiopia's rich religious history. 31. Prester John's Christian Kingdom. For centuries, European explorers searched for the mythical kingdom of Prester John, a legendary Christian king who supposedly ruled a utopia filled with riches and wonders. Many believed Ethiopia was this kingdom, linking it to its ancient Christian heritage. But the truth? Prester John was a medieval European myth with no historical basis, likely inspired by Ethiopia's long-standing Christian traditions. While Ethiopia is rich in history, Prester John's story belongs to the realm of fiction. 32. The Lost City of Gold, El Dorado. Did Africa have its own El Dorado? While tales of golden cities persist, they're mostly rooted in exaggerated accounts from European explorers. Stories of cities like Great Zimbabwe, filled with gold, were often twisted into myths of impossible wealth. While Africa did have impressive gold mines and trade routes, the mythical lost city of gold remains a story of colonial imagination rather than fact. 33. Ancient Egypt as a White Civilization For years, depictions of ancient Egypt portrayed it as a predominantly white civilization, but evidence shows that Egypt was a melting pot of cultures, blending African, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean influences. Modern research confirms its people were ethnically diverse, and their culture was deeply tied to Africa. So no, ancient Egypt wasn't a white civilization, it was a vibrant, multicultural society. 34. The Dogon and Extraterrestrial Knowledge The Dogon people of Mali are famous for their knowledge of Sirius, a star system visible only with modern telescopes. Did aliens teach them? 
While this theory excites UFO enthusiasts, it's more likely that the Dogon's knowledge came from early astronomical observations passed down through oral tradition. Ancient people were incredibly skilled at studying the night sky, no extraterrestrial help required. 35. The Coptic Christians' Unbreakable Resistance Coptic Christians in Egypt are often seen as unyielding martyrs against centuries of oppression. While their resilience is admirable, the narrative oversimplifies their history. Coptic Christians have adapted and thrived despite challenges, blending with Egyptian culture and influencing Islamic architecture and thought. Their history is not just one of resistance, but also of coexistence and cultural exchange. 36. The Land of Punt Mystery The Land of Punt was an ancient trading partner of Egypt, often described as a land of wealth and wonder. But where was it? Most scholars believe Punt was in modern-day Somalia or Eritrea. While its exact location remains a mystery, it wasn't a mythical land, it was a real place, pivotal in ancient trade networks, known for its gold, myrrh, and exotic animals. 37. Tarzan Myths in the Congo Basin Tarzan, the jungle hero raised by apes, is pure fiction, but it's shaped how many imagine Africa's Congo Basin. The myth perpetuates ideas of an untamed wilderness devoid of civilization, but this couldn't be further from the truth. The Congo Basin has been home to complex societies with rich traditions, agriculture, and trade. Tarzan, fun story, but real Africa is far more fascinating. 38. King Solomon's Mines the legend of King Solomon's Mines, a treasure trove of gold and gems, is largely a colonial fantasy popularized by adventure novels. While ancient Africa had rich gold mines, like those of Great Zimbabwe, there's no evidence they were tied to King Solomon. These myths reflect more about European greed than African history. 39. The Cannibal King of the Congo Stories of cannibal kings ruling the Congo were largely fabricated by colonialists to dehumanize local leaders and justify European conquest. While certain ritual practices existed, they were often exaggerated or outright invented to fit colonial narratives. The real history of Congo's kingdoms is one of sophisticated governance, trade, and resistance, not savage rulers. 40. Timbuktu, the mythical desert city. Timbuktu is often thought of as a mythical city of gold lost to the sands of time, but it's no myth. Timbuktu was a real, thriving hub of knowledge and trade in medieval Africa, home to great libraries and scholars. Its decline came with the shift in trade routes, but its history as a beacon of learning and culture endures. Mythical? Hardly. Extraordinary? Absolutely. 41. The Legend of Queen Sheba's Visit Queen Sheba's legendary visit to King Solomon is one of the most famous tales of the ancient world. Ethiopian and Yemeni traditions claim she was a powerful queen who brought incredible wealth and wisdom. But was it true? While historical records are scarce, there's evidence of rich trade links between Ethiopia, Yemen, and Israel, suggesting that the story might be rooted in these ancient connections. But the dramatic romance? Likely a later embellishment. 42. The Aryan Invasion Theory The Aryan Invasion Theory claims that a group of light-skinned invaders from Central Asia brought language, culture, and civilization to ancient India. But modern archaeological and genetic studies suggest otherwise. The evidence points to a gradual cultural exchange, not an invasion. The theory created during colonial times served as a tool to divide and conquer. The real history of India's development is far more complex and fascinating. 43. The Lost City of Dwarka Did Krishna's fabled city of Dwarka actually sink into the sea? Modern underwater excavations near India's western coast have revealed ruins that might be linked to ancient Dwarka. While the findings are intriguing, there's no definitive proof tying them to the mythological city. Dwarka remains a tantalizing mix of legend and archaeology, sparking debates about how history and mythology intertwine. 44. The Ghost Ship of the Skeleton Coast Namibia's skeleton coast is home to eerie shipwrecks, including tales of a ghost ship doomed to sail forever. But most shipwrecks along this coast were caused by natural hazards, treacherous waters and relentless winds. The ghost ship legends likely arose from mariners' fears and the mysterious landscape. The real history? Harsh survival stories of stranded sailors battling one of Earth's most unforgiving environments. 45. The Curse of the Black Pharaohs the Kushite rulers of ancient Nubia, often called the Black Pharaohs, were said to be cursed for challenging Egypt. 
but this narrative was a colonial invention, downplaying their achievements. The Kushite dynasty brought a renaissance of art, architecture, and military might to the region. Far from being cursed, they were a powerful civilization that left a lasting legacy. 46. The African Giants Stories of giants in Africa have circulated for centuries, inspired by oversized tools, footprints, and myths. But there's no scientific evidence of literal giants. Many stories stem from misinterpreted fossils, like those of large animals or extinct hominins. The real giants of Africa? The incredible cultures, kingdoms, and ecosystems that continue to awe the world. 47. Ancient Kilwa's fall due to divine wrath. Kilwa, a thriving medieval Swahili city, was said to have fallen because of divine punishment. In reality, its decline was due to shifting trade routes and Portuguese invasions. The Divine Wrath story likely emerged to explain a complex economic collapse in simpler, moralistic terms. Kilwa's legacy as a key trade hub in African history endures. 48. The Blood Libel Against Jewish Communities In medieval Europe, Jewish communities were falsely accused of using Christian blood in rituals, an unfounded claim called the blood libel. These myths fueled horrific violence and persecution for centuries. The truth? There's absolutely no evidence to support these claims. Blood libel is a tragic reminder of how prejudice and fear can create dangerous, enduring lies. 49. The Divine Right of Kings The Divine Right of Kings held that monarchs were chosen by God to rule without question. But this wasn't a universal or ancient belief. It emerged during the Middle Ages to justify absolute monarchy. Over time, revolutions and new political ideas challenged this concept, proving that rulers could and should be held accountable by their people. 50. The Myth of Bloody Mary Queen Mary I, known as Bloody Mary, earned her nickname for executing Protestants during her reign. But was she the bloodiest monarch in English history? Not even close. Her father, Henry VIII, executed far more people. Mary's nickname was part of Protestant propaganda, overshadowing her efforts to stabilize England after a turbulent period. History hasn't been kind to her, but perhaps it's time for a reevaluation. 51. The Spanish Inquisition's Omnipresence The Spanish Inquisition is often portrayed as an all-encompassing, terrifying institution, controlling every aspect of life in Spain. But the truth? While it was brutal, it was neither as widespread nor as powerful as often depicted. Its influence was limited primarily to religious matters, and other courts handled most criminal cases. Over time, its infamy grew thanks to exaggerations in Protestant propaganda and popular culture. 52. The Pied Piper of Hamelin The tale of the Pied Piper luring children away from Hamelin with his magical flute is one of Germany's most haunting legends. But did it really happen? Some historians believe the story might symbolize a real event, like the migration of young people to Eastern Europe, or a tragic plague. The truth remains shrouded in mystery, but it's unlikely to involve magic or rats. Thumb 53. The Holy Grail Quest The Holy Grail, the legendary cup sought by King Arthur and his knights, is a cornerstone of medieval mythology. But this quest? Entirely fictional. The Grail legend emerged in 12th century literature, combining Christian symbolism with chivalric ideals. There's no historical evidence of an actual grail, but the story reflects the values and imagination of the medieval world. 54. Alchemy as a path to gold. Alchemy is often mocked as a misguided attempt to turn lead into gold. But this is only part of the story. Alchemists were early scientists exploring chemistry, medicine, and philosophy. Their experiments laid the groundwork for modern science, including advances in metallurgy and pharmacology. The idea of creating gold was more a metaphor for spiritual transformation than an actual goal. 55. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. It's one of the most famous accusations in history. Emperor Nero fiddled while Rome burned in AD 64. But this image is false. For starters, fiddles didn't exist at the time. Ancient sources suggest Nero wasn't even in Rome when the fire started. While he did controversially use the disaster to rebuild the city in his vision, the fiddling tale was likely Roman propaganda to tarnish his reputation. 56. The Great Fire of London was started by foreign agents. After the Great Fire of London in 1666, rumors spread that it was started by foreign spies or saboteurs. In reality, the fire began accidentally in a bakery on Pudding Lane. 
The intense xenophobia of the time fueled these conspiracies, leading to unjust blame on foreigners. The true culprit? Poor urban planning and wooden buildings packed too tightly together. 57. Stonehenge, built by Druids. Stonehenge is often linked to ancient Druids conducting mysterious rituals. But archaeology tells a different story. Stonehenge predates the Druids by thousands of years, built by Neolithic peoples around 3000 BCE. While modern Druids have adopted it as a sacred site, the real builders were early farmers with an impressive understanding of astronomy and engineering. 58. The Black Death was a divine punishment. During the Black Death in the 14th century, many believed the plague was a punishment from God. But modern science has revealed it was caused by Yersinia pestis, a bacterium spread by fleas on rats. The divine punishment theory reflected medieval fears and religious beliefs, but doesn't hold up to what we now know about epidemiology. 59. Vlad the Impaler as Dracula. Vlad the Impaler, a 15th century Wallachian ruler, is often linked to Bram Stoker's Dracula. But Vlad wasn't a vampire. He was a fearsome leader who used brutal tactics to defend his land. Stoker may have been inspired by Vlad's reputation, but the Dracula legend owes more to European folklore about blood-sucking creatures than to Vlad himself. Number 60. The Beast of Gévaudan. In 18th century France, the Beast of Gévaudan terrorized villages, reportedly killing over 100 people. While the creature was described as a monstrous wolf, historians now believe it was likely a combination of exaggerated accounts and attacks by large wolves or even a trained hunting dog. The legend of the beast reflects the fears and imaginations of rural communities at the time. 61. The Immortal Count, Saint Germain. The Count of Saint Germain, an 18th century aristocrat, is often portrayed as an immortal man, dabbling in alchemy and living through centuries. But the truth? While he was a real historical figure, an eccentric nobleman known for his intellect and charm, claims of his immortality are pure legend, fueled by his mysterious background and love of secrecy. In reality, his immortality is likely a case of exaggerated storytelling by those fascinated with his mystique. 62. Robin Hood as a historical figure. Robin Hood, the legendary outlaw who stole from the rich and gave to the poor, might not have existed at all. Historians believe the story is a mix of folklore, blending various outlaws and local legends. While there may have been a real-life inspiration, the merry band and heroic deeds are more fiction than fact, evolving through centuries of storytelling. 63. The Declaration of Independence Signed on July 4th. July 4th is celebrated as America's Independence Day. But did you know the Declaration of Independence wasn't signed on that date? The document was officially adopted on July 4, 1776, but most delegates signed it on August 2nd. The myth persists because July 4th was the date printed on the published copies, cementing it as the day Americans remember. 64. The Wild West was constantly violent. The Wild West is often portrayed as a lawless land full of gunfights and chaos. But the truth? It wasn't nearly as violent as Hollywood suggests. Many frontier towns had lower crime rates than major cities of the time. While conflicts did occur, most people in the West were hardworking settlers focused on building their lives rather than fighting duels in the streets. 65. Native Americans as a single cultural group. Native Americans are often mistakenly viewed as a single, monolithic group. In reality, they consisted of hundreds of distinct tribes, each with unique languages, traditions, and lifestyles. From the Iroquois Confederacy in the Northeast to the Navajo of the Southwest, their diversity is astonishing. This oversimplification erases the rich complexity of their cultures. 66. The Founding Fathers were all unified. It's easy to imagine the Founding Fathers as a united front for independence, but they were far from unanimous. Fierce debates raged over issues like states' rights and the role of government. Figures like Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson clashed over everything from economics to foreign policy, shaping a democracy built on compromise and conflict. 67. The Myth of Paul Revere's Ride Paul Revere's Midnight Ride is one of the most famous tales of the American Revolution. But here's the twist. He never shouted, the British are coming. That phrase wouldn't have made sense at the time, as most colonists still considered themselves British. Also, Revere wasn't the only writer. Others, like William Dawes and Samuel Prescott, 
played crucial roles in spreading the alarm. 68. Pocahontas and John Smith's Love Story The story of Pocahontas and John Smith is often romanticized as a love story. In truth, Pocahontas was about 10 or 11 years old when she met Smith, and there's no evidence of any romantic relationship. The tale was embellished by Smith himself and further distorted by Hollywood, overshadowing her actual role in history as a cultural mediator. 69. Ben Franklin Discovering Electricity with a Kite Did Ben Franklin really discover electricity by flying a kite? While Franklin conducted experiments to understand lightning's electrical properties, he didn't discover electricity. It was already known. His kite experiment, if it happened as described, demonstrated the connection between lightning and static electricity. But he wasn't risking his life during a storm. Safety precautions were likely in place. 70. The Gold Rush as Instant Riches The California Gold Rush is often imagined as a time when anyone could strike it rich overnight. But for most prospectors, this was far from the truth. Few found substantial wealth, and many struggled to make ends meet. The real winners? Merchants and businesses that provided goods and services to the miners. The gold rush was more about hard work than instant fortune. 71. The myth of the savage Native Americans. One of the most damaging myths in history is the depiction of Native Americans as savages. This stereotype was largely spread by European colonists to justify land seizures and violent actions. In truth, Native American societies were highly advanced, with intricate systems of governance, agriculture, and trade. Far from being savage, they were innovative and deeply connected to their environment. 72. Vikings never settled in North America. Many believe that Vikings never set foot in North America, but archaeological evidence tells a different story. Around the year 1000 CE, Norse explorers led by Leif Erikson established a settlement at Lonsaw Meadows in Newfoundland, Canada. While it was short-lived, this settlement proves that Vikings reached the New World nearly 500 years before Columbus. 73. The Roanoke Colony Disappearance The lost colony of Roanoke is often portrayed as one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. However, evidence suggests the settlers likely integrated with nearby indigenous tribes, such as the Croatoan people, after struggling to survive. The disappearance isn't so much a mystery as a story of survival and adaptation. 74. Native American Assistance at Plymouth We're taught that Native Americans and pilgrims came together peacefully at Plymouth. While there was initial cooperation, like the famous Thanksgiving, the relationship was more complicated. Native tribes, like the Wampanoag, were strategic in their alliances, hoping to gain allies against rival tribes. The eventual betrayal and conflicts that followed are often left out of the story. 75. The Mayflower Compact as a Democracy Blueprint The Mayflower Compact is heralded as a foundation for democracy, but in reality, it was more of a practical agreement to maintain order. The document ensured the survival of the Plymouth Colony by creating a system of rules, but it wasn't a grand democratic vision. It was more about survival than revolutionary ideals. 76. The Alamo as a solely heroic stand. The Alamo is often remembered as a heroic stand for freedom. However, the story is more complex. The Texan defenders were fighting for independence from Mexico to establish their own government, but many of them also supported slavery, which Mexico had abolished. While their bravery is undeniable, the motivations behind the conflict were not purely noble. 77. The Manifest Destiny Justification Manifest Destiny, the belief that the United States was destined to expand westward, is often taught as a natural and inevitable process. However, it was a justification for displacing indigenous peoples and waging war. The concept masked the violence and exploitation that came with expansion, painting it as a divine right rather than a deliberate policy. 78. The Boston Tea Party as an Anti-Tax Protest The Boston Tea Party is often seen as a protest against high taxes, but the reality is more nuanced. The Tea Act of 1773 actually lowered the price of tea, but it gave the British East India Company a monopoly, undercutting local merchants. The protest was less about taxes and more about resisting corporate control and British overreach. 79. The 1920s flapper as a prototypical rebel. The flapper image, a liberated woman breaking social norms, is iconic, but it's not the whole story. 
While flappers embraced new fashions and attitudes, they represented a small urban elite. For most women, life in the 1920s remained traditional, with little change in their roles or freedoms. The flapper was more of a media sensation than a widespread reality. 80. The Cold War Duck and Cover Drills During the Cold War, duck and cover drills were promoted as a way to survive a nuclear attack. While these drills offered psychological comfort, they provided little actual protection from a nuclear blast. The real goal was to keep the public calm, even if the meds were scientifically ineffective. 81. Cowboys were mostly white Americans. When you picture a cowboy, is it someone like John Wayne? In reality, up to one-third of cowboys in the Old West were African Americans, Mexicans, or Native Americans. Hollywood gave us the whitewashed version, but the real frontier was far more diverse than the movies ever showed. 82. The Myth of El Dorado El Dorado, the city of gold, has sparked countless expeditions and inspired treasure hunters for centuries. But it was never a city at all. The legend originated from the Muisca people of Colombia, who performed rituals involving a gold-covered chieftain. The Europeans exaggerated the story, turning it into a fantastical city that never existed. 83. The Spanish Conquest as a Complete Overthrow, Inca Empire We're told the Spanish completely overthrew the Inca Empire, but the reality is more nuanced. The empire was already weakened by a civil war and diseases brought by Europeans. Many indigenous allies helped the Spanish, seeing them as a tool to defeat their local rivals. The Spanish didn't act alone. They exploited a fragmented political landscape. 84. The primitive nature of the Amazon tribes. For years, Amazonian tribes were dismissed as primitive, but modern archaeology reveals advanced civilizations with massive earthworks, roads, and even ancient agriculture. The Amazon rainforest itself may have been shaped by these early societies, which cultivated biodiversity rather than destroying it. Far from primitive, they were ecological geniuses. 85. Nazca Lines is alien-made, Peru. While it's fun to imagine aliens carving the Nazca Lines, the truth is more down to earth. These massive designs were created by the Nazca people using simple tools and careful planning. The lines likely served ceremonial or astronomical purposes, proving humans are capable of extraordinary feats without extraterrestrial help. 86. Machu Picchu as the Lost City of the Incas, Peru Machu Picchu is often called the Lost City of the Incas, but that title belongs to Vilcabamba, their final stronghold against the Spanish. Machu Picchu was more of a royal retreat, hidden from Spanish invaders but never forgotten by the locals. It wasn't lost, it just wasn't on the colonizer's radar. 87. The bloodthirsty nature of the Aztecs and Incas, Mesoamerica. Aztec and Inca societies are often depicted as excessively violent, focusing on human sacrifices. While these rituals did exist, they were deeply tied to religious beliefs and cultural practices, not senseless brutality. In contrast, European colonizers carried out massacres and forced conversions on a much larger scale, yet their actions are rarely labeled as bloodthirsty. 88. The Inca Empire's Rigid Bureaucracy as a Weakness Critics of the Inca Empire argue that its centralized bureaucracy made it inflexible and vulnerable. However, their system was remarkably efficient for its time, managing vast territories and diverse populations with minimal resources. If anything, it was the arrival of diseases and the exploitation of internal divisions, not bureaucracy, that led to their downfall. 89. The Mysterious Disappearance of the Maya The idea that the Maya disappeared is a persistent myth. In truth, their cities were abandoned due to a mix of drought, overpopulation, and resource depletion. But the Maya people never vanished, they adapted and continued their traditions, and millions of their descendants live in Central America today. 90. The Andes as impenetrable barriers. It's often said that the Andes Mountains isolated civilizations, but this isn't entirely true. The Inca built a sophisticated network of roads and bridges that connected their empire, facilitating trade and communication. These mountains weren't barriers, they were a backdrop for some of history's most impressive engineering feats. 91. Francisco Pizarro's Overwhelming Military Power, Peru We've been told that Francisco Pizarro defeated the mighty Inca Empire with a small band of soldiers, thanks to his superior military power. But here's the real story. Pizarro's conquest wasn't just about guns and armor. It was about disease, 
internal conflict, and the Inca Empire being already weakened by civil war. The Spaniards took advantage of these factors, not just their weapons. 92. The Amazon as a lifeless green desert. For years, many thought the Amazon rainforest was a green desert, a place devoid of human innovation or civilization. But modern research shows just how wrong that assumption was. Indigenous peoples have been shaping the land for thousands of years, using techniques like terra preta, a type of rich, man-made soil, to cultivate and sustain the environment. The Amazon is far from lifeless. It's a living, breathing ecosystem shaped by humans. 93. Indigenous people lived without advanced knowledge. One of the biggest myths about indigenous peoples is that they lacked advanced knowledge. In fact, many indigenous cultures had complex systems of science, engineering, and agriculture. The Maya, for example, developed a sophisticated calendar system, while the Inca created advanced roads and suspension bridges. These societies weren't primitive, they were incredibly innovative. 94. The Sacred Valley as just an agricultural region, Peru. The Sacred Valley of the Incas is often portrayed as just a fertile agricultural hub, but it was much more. It was a spiritual center, a sacred place that held deep cultural and religious significance for the Inca people. The impressive agricultural terraces weren't just for growing crops, they were an integral part of Inca rituals and beliefs. 95. Patagonia as a land of giants, southern Chile, Argentina. Patagonia, the land at the southern tip of South America, has long been known in legend as a land of giants, thanks to the writings of early explorers. But the truth? These stories likely arose from exaggerated accounts of local indigenous people's height, or possibly from large fossils of prehistoric animals. There were no actual giants, but the area is full of impressive history and natural wonders. 96. Tiahuanaco as a post-Inca site, Bolivia. For a long time, Tiahuanaco was considered a post-Inca site, believed to have been built after the fall of the Inca Empire. In reality, Tiahuanaco predates the Inca by hundreds of years. This ancient city, with its massive stone structures, was home to a highly sophisticated civilization that influenced the Inca Empire, but they weren't the same people. The Inca merely inherited Tiahuanaco's rich cultural legacy. 97. The Legend of Paititi, Hidden City of Gold Everyone's heard the story of Paititi, the legendary lost city of gold hidden deep in the Amazon jungle. While many explorers have searched for it, the truth is that Paititi may never have existed. Some believe it was a myth created by local tribes or an exaggeration of ancient Inca cities. Yet, the search for this elusive city continues to capture the imagination of adventurers. 98. The Cannibal Stereotype, Various Tribes One of the most persistent myths about indigenous peoples, particularly in the Americas and Africa, is that they practiced widespread cannibalism. While some groups did practice ritualistic cannibalism, it was often misunderstood and sensationalized by early European explorers. Many cultures were simply misunderstood by outsiders who viewed their customs through a biased lens. Cannibalism wasn't a common practice, but a part of specific rituals in certain contexts. 99. The Candomblé as Witchcraft, Brazil. In Brazil, Candomblé is often falsely portrayed as witchcraft by outsiders. But this Afro-Brazilian religion is a rich cultural and spiritual tradition with roots in West African beliefs. It involves honoring spirits through rituals, music, and dance, far from witchcraft. The demonization of candomblé stems from colonial misinterpretations of African religions. 100. The Mayan Doomsday 2012 Prediction, Mesoamerica. Remember the Doomsday Prediction for 2012? The idea that the Maya predicted the world would end on December 21st, 2012, was based on misinterpretations of their calendar. The Maya didn't predict the end of the world. Rather, they marked the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. Their calendar was a long count system, and the so-called end of the world was simply the start of a new era. 101. The Incas lacked a writing system, Peru. One of the most common myths about the Incas is that they lacked a writing system. You've probably heard that they couldn't write down their history or ideas. But here's the truth. While the Incas didn't use traditional writing like the Egyptians or the Greeks, they had a sophisticated method for recording information. It's called the quipu, a system of knotted strings that encoded numerical and narrative data. 
The Incas used quipus to keep track of everything from taxes to history, challenging the idea that they were unliterate. 102. The idea that the Amazon could not be farmed. For a long time, many believed the Amazon rainforest was too dense and nutrient poor to be farmed. It was considered a green desert, a place where farming would be impossible. But recent discoveries have turned this myth on its head. Archaeologists have found evidence that indigenous peoples developed complex farming techniques, including terra preta, man-made soil that's rich in nutrients and perfect for farming. The Amazon wasn't a barren place. It was a thriving landscape shaped by human hands. 103. Moai heads as just stone faces, Easter Island, Chile. You've probably seen the famous Moai statues of Easter Island, with their giant stone faces staring out to sea. But did you know that these statues aren't just heads? They're full bodies. Over time, the lower parts of the statues were buried under layers of soil, leaving only the heads visible. These statues, which once stood tall and proud, represent important figures from the island's history, and they were carefully placed to honor ancestors and gods. 104. Inca Gold Reserves Taken Entirely by the Spanish, Peru We've all heard the story of the Spanish conquistadors raiding Inca gold reserves, but it's not as simple as it sounds. The myth says the Spanish took all of the gold from the Inca Empire. The reality is that much of the gold was never truly stolen. The Incas, who didn't value gold in the same way Europeans did, melted down and hid much of their treasures in fear of the Spanish. In fact, a large amount of Inca gold never made it to the Spanish hands. Many pieces remain lost to this day. 105. The Inca Empire's Sudden Fall, Peru Many think the Inca Empire fell suddenly when the Spanish arrived, but the fall wasn't as fast as the myth suggests. While the Spanish conquest played a major role, the Incas were already facing internal struggles. Civil war between two rival brothers, Atahualpa and Huascar, left the empire weakened. The Spanish took advantage of these divisions, but the fall of the Inca Empire was a combination of factors, not just a sudden collapse from external invaders. No 106. Quetzalcoatl, as only a Mesoamerican deity, pan South America. Quetzalcoatl is often portrayed as just a Mesoamerican god, famously associated with the Aztecs and their civilization. However, the truth is much more complex. Quetzalcoatl wasn't just a single deity. He was part of a much larger religious and cultural tradition that spanned across multiple ancient cultures in the Americas. From the Toltecs to the Maya, Quetzalcoatl was a key figure in many regions, symbolizing themes of creation, knowledge, and the balance between life and death. History is full of surprises, and the truth behind these well-known myths is more fascinating than we ever imagined. What other historical myths do you think might need debunking? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more shocking revelations from the past.